Hey, what is up guys? As you know, I'm a big custom ROM fan. I install each and every custom ROM on my phone as possible and then I, you know, flash it and then just, you know, check it out how the ROM is and stuff like that and then tell you guys about it. So today I have a really awesome ROM which I believe is better than Cyanogen Mod. It's also based on AOSP ROM so there won't be any, you know, like a major difference in looks between uh, those Cyanogen Mod and this ROM. And this ROM's name is, guess what? Paranoid Android. So guys, this Paranoid, you might have heard about it or you might haven't heard about it. This is the awesomest ROM I have ever used in this AOSP framework. As as you can see, like it's the same as basic, uh, like you know, the default Nexus kind of uh, look because it's on AOSP base. I don't have that much battery left as you can see, it's just how to say 7% left up here and you might have noticed one more thing, I have got my integrated buttons up here which will work you know as the Nexus touch you can see, this is the home button, touch button and plus I have my hardware physical keys. You can disable it or enable it uh, uh, like anytime you want and like you know there's one more a good feature in this rom that is called you know the dpi you can change it this is a this is in the phone mode and that means you can change your modes right here you can go to hybrid properties in settings and you can see the stock ui phablet that means the nexus 7 and the three tablet different uis for example i go into phablet one and then i click apply right here then it takes some time to apply and then it comes back and then you can see the buttons have become a little bit smaller and now you guess what as Nexus 7 running the, it has two notification bars right on the right you got the quick access and on the left you got the notification so as you can see this changed into the phablet one and if you go to the tablet apply it everything you know goes into the tablet kind of thing As you can see, everything and my notification bar came down. I have to swipe up to see my notification up here. It's the you know like tablet kind of style. So guys, um, I've just installed this ROM, and um, I saw that the newer version, which is the R uh, 3.99 RC2 build, just go don't go and download it right now. I'll prefer to download the 3.56 version, which I'm using because the uh, like the RC2 is quite buggy while installing otherwise it's not buggy guys it's not buggy let me repeat but it's just buggy when you like you know you try to install it the first time the keyboard crashes and you can't you know like enter the Google Play until you have you know some some kind of you know like um, other keyboard to install so right now I'm using here a Swift key but guys believe me it's worth the cost you can you can try the ROM and it's really awesome ROM it's really smoother than CyanogenMod 10.2 it's like how to say uh, it's the most more like it's really smooth rom and it's really good for users so i'm gonna make a review my next video will be coming soon so don't forget to subscribe and like this video there are many more custom roms related you know videos in my channel and other tech related stuff so again guys don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel guys the review of the this Panerad android 3.56 is coming soon till then peace